Hello, I'm Christine Stratton, President and CEO of NRPA. This has not been an easy week. In the midst of already challenging times, more lives have been lost in the struggle for racial justice and natural disasters continue to wreak havoc throughout the country. Back in May, I asked you to start having the hard conversations that need to happen for us to become actively anti-racist. Many of you have shared your efforts and they are inspiring. At NRPA, we've been doing our own internal equity assessment. And as we shared earlier this week, we have hired our first vice president of education and chief equity officer. While we acknowledge these important milestones, we also recognize that they are not boxes to be checked off a list. They are critical components to leading with equity at the center of all we do. And we will not slow down as we push for fair and just access to quality parks and recreation for everyone. In the midst of the fight for racial equity, the pandemic, and other events taking a deep toll on our collective mental health and well being, historic wildfires are raging. According to the National Interagency Fire Center, 14 states currently report large active fires. And Hurricane Laura has left a path of destruction in Louisiana and Texas. We know that our colleagues impacted by these natural disasters have great challenge ahead. Please join us in lending your support. To all of you, you who are on the front lines supporting your communities through these incredibly difficult times, I want to say that we see you and we support you. Park and recreation professionals have stepped up time and time again, taking on roles you never imagined, stepping outside your comfort zone and tackling the many challenges that come your way. I know that you are tired and stressed and frustrated. And I know that you harbor a deep love and commitment to your communities. We say you are superheroes, and I truly believe that. As our superheroes, we want you to be recognized, respected, and adequately funded for the work you do. I want you to know we are fighting for all of those things on your behalf and are working tirelessly every day to get you the resources and respect you deserve. To close, I invite you at the end of this video to take a minute, just one minute to yourself, to take some deep breaths, not to prepare yourself for what's next on your agenda, but because you deserve a minute of peace to clear your mind and to take care of yourself. It's just a minute. Until the next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and be well.